So we, 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 we put a copper strip in a silver nitrate solution, which is white in color. After some time, we find that it starts becoming bluish. And passing H2S gas through it gives you the black color cupric sulfide, CUS. Now what does that tell us? It again tells us that somehow, somehow copper, copper became copper ion, okay, by donating the electron and my AG 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 accepted sorry sorry that electron to give you silver metal there, there will be silver gets deposited here on this on on this there will be silver deposition okay there is silver deposition here on the strip you have silver deposited so what has happened so what has happened copper has forced forced silver to accept the electrons so zinc forced copper, copper could not force zinc, copper forced silver, okay, and, and if you, if you, if you reverse the whole process, you will find that silver is not able to, to, to push the electrons onto copper. Now, uh, when we have, we were studying acids and bases earlier, then what happens? when we were studying acids and bases, then we saw that a stronger acid and a milder acid, when they react, then the milder one starts behaving like a base. In face of a stronger acid, what happens? The stronger acid forcefully gives its proton and the weaker acid somehow, somehow accepts that, electro, that, that proton. And that's what makes them acid and base. So, so, the, in the same way that there was a competitive proton transfer in acids, in, in a similar way, we have got a competitive electron transfer in metals. And, and there was a series, no? There's, an, there's a series in acid where which is the strongest and then, 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 then. We are able to find that in a similar manner, we can find out an activity series here. In terms of which of the metals is able to hand over its electrons forcefully to another metal. Okay? This is something called, called competitive electron transfer and on the basis of this, okay? So, so we, we, we can tell that the capability of, capability of electron transfer for zinc is greater than copper, which is greater than silver. Okay? When we make a series based on based on which metal based on the descending capability descending capability of the metals for electron transfer 
द सीरीज इज कॉल्ड अ मेटल एक्टिविटी सीरीज अ मेटल एक्टिविटी सीरीज और इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल सीरीज और इलेक्ट्रो केमिकल सीरीज एंड दिस यू हैड स्टडीड इन क्लास नाइन्थ नो इट वॉज द सेम थिंग नॉर्मली वी पुट इट इन डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर नॉर्मली वी पुट इट इन डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर ओके यस yes 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 it is in it is in descending order right so the lower the metal is the the more incapable it is so you will find zinc to be higher than copper which will be higher than silver okay we had done that if you remember then then there was a this thing and and this was taught to you when you were doing the displacement reaction in class 10th in fact in class 10th okay when we were doing the displacement reactions there you were able to tell whether this will be able to dislodge the the ion from that and and the displacement reaction will occur or it will not occur correct